This is our annual Glenda Woods Girls University. We're serving 60 girls at this location and 40 girls over at the neighborhood place for 100 total girls this summer for the first time ever. And this is our flagship program where we get to combine so many of the exciting curriculums that we use to educate girls in under one roof. So girls have gotten a really thorough and comprehensive experience this summer. With Friendly Persuasion, they're learning those different peer pressures and how to combat them and how to stand up against their friends whenever they're, if they're in a, in a, in a situation where there's drugs or alcohol um, around. Even if not, if there isn't those substances around them, they can still know how to use those tools in order to stand up for themselves. How to learn, how to be assertive. Um, how to reach for their goals and to stay on a path to attain their goals and to learn perseverance and, and to never give up to um, achieve something for themselves but not only for themselves but for um, all women in general. It's not just me. No, well, I love the hair. It's not really actually. Yeah, I would think so. Did he put, it, he put his hair back flat? Or? Is that what it looks like when it's like that? Yes. Thank you, Vanessa. Economic literacy is teaching the girls about needs and wants. The society today, you know, it's always about having the latest style of clothing or the, the latest digital gadgets. Well, sometimes parents can't afford that. So girls, it's important for them to learn their needs and the wants. And these wants are usually the material things. I learned how to um, be a leader and um, to take care of others and to be right there, to be there for, to help them as, as we learn. Just mostly about confidence and making yourself feel better. Girls are bombarded with messages all over from the TV, music, internet, even the magazines and books they read. So they have these images of how girls and women need to look, how they're supposed to act, and with media literacy, they're able to break down those messages and really see it's okay to be who they are. And bold. We're making a trampoline. We're gonna, we're gonna, this little fairy pose, it's, we cut holes in it, like this, and then we're gonna cut holes in this bottom, and then we're gonna sew it on, so that way when they, we drop the egg, it'll bounce, and then it'll pop right back up, just like That's cool. what somebody does on a trampoline. Operation SMART is our STEM-based programming, so the girls are learning science, mathematics, engineering, and technology. So the girls are being exposed to different concepts of science, and they may not even really like science in school because it's boring. Well, here at Girls, Inc., they're learning different aspects of science. They will be learning about um, inspiring women who have taken the career path of being um, engineers. I really hope that they'll take how to be, um, you know, strong, smart, and bold girls in their schools. I really hope that they take, you know, how to resist peer pressure, how to stand up for themselves, how to make smart choices, how to remember to have a voice when they go to school. I really hope that they don't lose any of that that they've learned, that they do have a voice, that, you know, knowledge is power, and that they really do put that to practice when they're in the schools.